We're back in Subnautica again. And already I have an issue. You notice over there the Aurora looks whole. But just the other day it blew up. And I fixed the engine the generator room, all the leaks in it. And now when I come into the game in my current save, it tells me that the leaks will be cleared up within, you know, three days and ten hours inside my base. Again. The same thing it told me when after I fixed those leaks in the base. And I'm not sure why it's restored when it should be blown up. Here, I'll show you what happens. I'll stop right here and then I'll just load up my save and show you what happens when I do it. Attention. High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, ten hours. See, this is what happens when I load up my safe. See, that's that right there is telling you I already been over to the ship. I fixed all the leaks. They're all done. But at the same time, this shouldn't be playing because that already played when I fixed the leaks. So this is a bug that's it keeps reoccurring. I'm not sure why. It doesn't make any sense. Plus, okay, music just started up. <laughs> Plus, outside the aurora is back to being whole again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you fix one bug and another one just suddenly crops up. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, oops. They did introduce... If I can get the right tool here. Back in the miscellaneous we have the signs back. So you can rebuild them back in your base. And the originally... Well, actually, they're all here in the power area now. But you got the power transmitter, the bioreactor, thermal plant, and nuclear reactor. None of these are properly working yet because they're still being constructed, still being done. So you can't even... Re you can, let's see, can I build them? Let me go outside. Can I actually build one? Wow, it is letting me build one though. Hmm, that's cool. I'll park my little my little ship right here then. Even though he's not done, as you can see, he doesn't have any coloring on him. He looks like the uh, fragments that you can find out in the environment, which are just placer hold placeholders, really. Get this off. You can see what it looks like. He's a cool little ship. Uh, but you need to have. Oh, let's take that off because I don't want to deconstruct them. Scanning the Aurora. Zero life signs detected. Lethal radiation levels detected. The main drive core has malfunctioned. The primary dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Continuing to monitor. How can you monitor something that's not supposed to be. Restored! The ship just blew up in my last save. I fixed it. You even told me it was fixed. And now you're back to normal again. So I don't understand why this issue cannot be fixed. It just keeps cropping right back up. Anyway, as I was trying to show, you got the breaks down creep vine and tree mushroom pieces to reliable energy. So let's... Uh well, I'll just go get one. Heck with it. Let's see. I'm not too far away from it. Actually, I'll stop right here. When I get over to the forest, I'll cut back in. Okay? Finally made it over here. It's not too far from the shallows. Put on my knife. It's amazing you can pick up such huge pieces of mushroom. 
coming, are you? Now, I need some creeper vines. I think it said it needed two or something like that. Head over here. Turn this off so you can see everything much better. Oh, that's right. I have to get the coordinates for that one. Is it in this area? No, let's see if it's in the south. There's a particular giant stinger cave that I have a picture in my Steam area. It's from my images. So I was wondering where it was, and I forgot to put the coordinates for it on the picture like I usually do. So if you ever want to visit it, you can. Just by warping right to it. Vines. Uh, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five of those. One, two, three, four, five of those. Okay, that works. Give me my sea glide back, please. The bad thing about the bases is they don't have their own too large radar icon, so you have to put a beacon on your base if you want to know exactly where it's at. And in doing so, you see that word everywhere. That's the only problem with doing it. It doesn't disappear if you do F6. Okay, let's see what we got. Aha! There it goes. But it's not showing. See, it's disappearing. So it makes me wonder if it's not working. It's not functioning yet. Yeah, this would be... Yeah, I didn't even take anything. So, as you can see, it's not working properly yet. So I'll put these away for now. Hang on to... Oop, there's one more. Hang on to him for now and then try it again later. But I'm not surprised it's not worth considering. It doesn't even have any coloring or menu or anything like that. More than likely, what will happen is it'll be when you click on it, instead of showing that icon, it'll have a little menu. Like, technically, when if you click on the analyzer here, see a little menu over here to the right? That's what it'll look like. So you can drag and drop your pieces into it. Now, we are getting bulkheads. They call them bulkheads. I don't really... I don't know if that's the correct term, but... They're... You know, the opening, closing doors in the Cyclops? That's what we're getting for the bases real soon. And say, take, for instance, that framework right there, that dark frame. That's where the door will be for each area. Oh, there's my sign. Where am I? <laughs> I have another one over here. Who are you? I'm up here. What is this place? You are not here. <laughs> uh, other than the bulkhead, there's not. There's nothing else coming real soon. I'm not sure how strongly they're working on these new power generators. I would assume that they're busy working on them, fix, filling them out so they will work. But, uh, we'll see. All the little updates I've been getting lately have been, I guess, bug fixes. Now, they're... I don't want to do it. I wonder if it glows at night. Really need to wait until daytime show you. They are putting the membrane tree, my favorite. Caution. Readings from the Aurora suggest erratic fluctuations in the primary dark matter containment field. A breach of the main drive chamber may cause a cascading quantum flux detonation. You finished? <laughs> Jeez. Let's watch the ship blow up again. As I was trying to say, they are putting the, finally putting the membrane tree into the game. That's my favorite of the plants that has 
not been established from the entity gallery into the game yet. Um, now there's the mystery plant I told you about last time. I'm waiting for daytime to show up. Where's the moon? Somebody said there was a moon in the sky. I don't see a moon. I see a floater way over there. <laughs> you would think this planet would have a moon, or double moons, or triple moons. It should. Maybe I'm just not. Maybe it's just not out right now. Uh. I'm gonna pause right here. Wait for the music to die down. And as soon as it does, I will cut to the mystery plant, show you a quick glimpse, and then you have to go find it. Okay, you saw the plant. Go find it. And by the way, that is called the Sea Crown. It's my second favorite plant, and there's only two in the whole game. Not giving you any hints where it's located. That wouldn't be fair. I tried to make the image not show too much detail. Now, to the south here, as, you, as I mentioned last time, I found a new area. Uh, give me my sea glide. It's to me. I think it. Oh, we'll pop in a kick up and going on there. To me, I think it's the new Twisty Bridges area that's coming because it just seems to fit how it looks. Uh, you'll see in a minute when I get over there. Oh, see this issue right here, hop happens when you're doing it F6. You have to turn F6 off for a second and turn it back on just to make it go away. It's really annoying. I've already reported it on Trello, so hopefully it'll be eventually fixed. It only happens with the C glide. Now, this is the side of the new area right here. Oops. Out of energy. Now you notice there's the Grand Reef, the top of it. This is right next to it. This whole area is so new it doesn't have any fish at all. And I'm going to turn it off so you don't get that darn light in the way. I mean, there's lots of bridges and lots of holes. They're not particularly twisty. Uh, not like in the artwork. But considering there's so many bridges, it just seems like the logical location. I mean, of course, I could be completely off, but hey, I don't care. Uh, it'll be so It's something new that is coming, considering that there's no fish in the environment yet. That indicates that it's brand new. Uh, lots of great photo ops. You got paths all over the place, which is interesting. It's almost like an ancient cultures area. There's a little hole right here. <laughs> lots of walking paths. Uh, go over the bridges. It's a really unique environment. I like it. It reminds me of the one over to the north. That's like this. I showed you before. It has all the arches and got the rooms that look like they were the from the Fred Flintstone era. Hey, Wilma, I'm home. Hey, Now, I was reading over on Trello that, where is it, they are 
the one guy that does most of the level design for the game, which, pardon me if I forgot his name. Actually, hold on. Let me see here. What was this? Michael Schutten. You'll see a card on him in the just the Subnautica Trello area, which is dealing with design of the game and what new things are coming forward and so forth. I have the links in the description. Please click on show Warning. more. Readings from the Aurora exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the dark matter containment field. Spikes in quantum fluctuations suggest an uncontrolled cascade detonation will occur with a probability of 83.5%. Yada yada. Anyway, Michael is expanding the Grand Reef over here. He's uh, changing things up and making it different, a lot more different looking than the deeper Grand Reef, which harbors the floating orbs and the bluish the aquamarine crystals. Some lithium over here. If you, oh, no, that's quartz. Never mind. No, that's diamond. Oops. Yeah. Oh, that is quartz. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait a minute. I'm in the wrong location, aren't I? Yes, I am. Well, the new zone... That, that was... That's the top of... Uh, this, the sparse reef. I was in the wrong area there. But you can see how close the new kelp area is to the sparse reef and their conjoining areas with the Grand Reef. But this is the deeper Grand Reef area here with the crystals and the floating balls and the rose corals there. But he's, he's changing this up a lot from what he says in his Trello page, trying to give it a much more of a difference to the zones. And notice there is a lot of changing going on. I noticed something over here the other day that I was... I have a picture in my screenshots area of Steam that you can go check out. Like here, here's... He's, this is a new area he's working on. So it's got a... Actually, you can go under it right here. I think that goes to the Infinity Trench. No? That's just a dark valley. Wait a minute. Hold the phone, men. Let me see if I can find it for you here. This might be the valley I'm looking for. I am going south. Okay. Let me see if this leads me to where I think it's going. Yep, here it is. This is the new south entrance to the, the lava zone. It'll take you directly to the Black Castle and all that location. Let's speed this up just a bit. There we go. Do a little speed 2 action here. But, yeah, you, know, you can see there's some changes going on here. Of course, this has been been in action for a while now, so there's not too much changing at the moment. But the trailer card indicates there's going to be a lot more going on. Uh, it's not that much difference right now in the environment. I went all Emergency. over. Readings from the Aurora show severe instability in the primary drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. The reason why I blew up before she finished talking is because I'm on speed 2. So it sped up the environmental action of everything before. Doesn't speed up her voice though, which is a little strange. 
and everything went quiet. Huh. That was weird. It's like that zone. That's a zone of silence. I'm trying to find. I'll go over here. For some reason I'm hearing lava zone sounds. Now they are adding a new room section to the Aurora. Not really particularly sure where at the moment, because I was informed about it in the last playtest session, which was last week. Uh, just a short one with me, the lead animator, and another playtester. And one other. Four. Sorry, four. But he told me that Obraxi told me that they're working on this new room, which will be off, I think, the corridor going down to the generator room, which will hold the exosuit fragments. And you'll have to use the upgrade on the welder, which will, which is actually, let me show you here. I think I have it in my inventory. Yeah, here's the laser cutter. You actually want to hold on to you both of them for now. Because this will... You can use this right right now, actually. Over on the Aurora, there are certain boxes, certain loot crates they've made that you can only open with the laser cutter. But the bad thing is, don't upgrade your welder. Oops. Don't let you, uh, upgrade your welder before you fix the Aurora. Because once it becomes a laser cutter, you can't f you can't use it to fix the leaks in the generator room. You're screwed. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I'm going north. Okay. I'm confused. I don't know where I am. Oh, we got a rival war here. <laughs> Two of them together. Down there, at the very bottom of that hole, there's another cave system, which I've showed in the past video. Um, it comes out over there in that little hillside over there. There's a up. And that area still has not seen any TLC yet. Uh, it's just a blank cave. Hopefully in the future it'll see some action. Stingers, corals, plants, whatever. That'd be a good place to put the, the new kelp that's coming soon. We have the blood kelp and the cave coral roots, the ca uh, cave kelp roots or something like that. I think it's cave blood roots, sorry. And also the blood mushrooms, which I've described in the past. They're, they're all a milky white, and the kelp itself has these red nodules on it. You can see them in the entity gallery. And I don't really want to pop that open at the moment. Let's go back to day, because since the ship has already exploded, it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, where, is, where am I at? Oh, over this way. I hear somebody to shoot. I just love shooting crash fish. But the new kelp, they're th they don't know exactly where they're going to put it at this time. Uh, I talked to Braxy, the lead animator. They're not really sure. They have it indicated as a new zone. But again, that's they're still up in the air as exactly where they're going to put that area at. Uh, oh, over there. But the kelp is the same height, probably around the same height as these. But milky white in color with pulsating red nodules on them. It's 
pretty weird looking. You can see them all over on Trello. Again, please click on my sh click the show more on the video description to get all links. That's where I have everything. I've lost my base. Where's my sub? Okay, there's the there's the sub. Okay, bases are here. Get rid of that. Since the Aurora has exploded. It's exploded, man. Back to one. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm gonna test the theory here. Go ahead and save my game again. Just so I can see if it actually stays destroyed when I come back into the game later. Uh, there's nothing new at the Aurora until they get that new room put in. And the exosuits. No word yet on the exosuit itself, when it'll be put in the game. Uh, everything's done on it, modeling and lighting and all that. It's just the rigging. I, believe, I think they said something about it. Rigging was done as well, but I'm not sure. Have to check on Trello about that. So it, should, it, it won't be too long ahead for it to be in the game. Of course... It really won't come into its own until they get the lava zone fixed, because that's basically what you're going to be using it for, is down there. It's going to be a high-pressure environmental type suit. So. Of course, until they implement the ability to die from pressure, you know, it's not going to really matter that much. Because right now, you, I could, you know, get real deep in the ocean with my sea glide and still not die from, from the pressure. It'll kill your sea moth and sea cyclops before it does you. Uh, one? Nope, that's not floating. It looked like it was there for a moment. Oh, let's look down here. No, nope, no crash fish. I've been all around in this game so many times. Just the other day, I was over there in the south. I scanned that whole area. I just swam everywhere, just looking at the deep reef, Grand Reef area, and all the, you know, where, I, where we were a little while ago. Just trying to find secrets. Anything out of the ordinary. And you heard, I was mentioning that there's a picture in my screenshots gallery in Steam, which you can look at, which I did find something odd. It was like, looked like an illustration of maybe a dog or something using coral and ground texture. <laughs> I was told in the early days of the game, some of the level designers were trying to get jokey, and they would build like uh, a ground texture saying something. You know, the only way, only time you see this is if you're hovering over and you look down, and it's like what the. There was a funny one, but I can't remember what they told me what what it said. That's about it, really. There's not a lot going on. Uh, if you haven't seen the membrane tree, I can show you that, though. Membrane tree. There it is. There's the beautiful plant. Actually, that's pretty cool. It's paused. It appeared right on the base. That's gonna, this is going to look awesome in the game. Very Matrix-like. And it's pod-like formation. I wonder if you can hurt it. Let's see. Not yet. There might be some use for it in the future, but right now it's just going to probably be just like all the other plants. And being that the original image that I've seen over on wiki was in the Grand Reef area it'll probably be over there and another indication that tells me that is this color right there it matches that environment perfectly uh, that that aquamarine type of coloring down in the deep reef so it'll be awesome to see that in the game finally hopefully do something too anyway <laughs> That's about, that's it for now. I've covered everything I can think of. 
other than you going crazy with spawning again, but I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I'd rather show you new things. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.